What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 2 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th Edition textbook by Jura Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 2, we are asked to calculate the average velocity for two different cases. In both cases, we are given a walking segment and a running segment. And for Part C, we are asked to graph both cases. And so for part A, we are given the distance and velocity for the walking segment and the running segment. And so we know that the average velocity is equal to the total displacement over the total time. And in this situation, your total displacement is equal to the displacement walked plus the displacement ran and your time tote is equal to the time walked plus the time ran. And since we are given displacements and velocities in part A, x tote is a direct substitution, but for t tote we have a little more math we have to do. So I'll calculate x tote first. x tote is equal to 73.2 meters plus 73.2 meters. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that x tote is equal to 146.4 meters. And so in order to calculate our time, we know that velocity is equal to displacement over time. And so in order to isolate time, we can multiply both sides by time and divide both sides by velocity. And if we do that, we'll be left with time is equal to displacement over velocity. And so now using that equation, we can calculate the time walked and the time ran. We'll start with time walk. That is equal to displacement walked over the velocity walked. And we are given both of those values in the problem. This is equal to 73.2 meters divided by 1.22 meters per second. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the time walked is equal to 60 seconds. And we can do a similar calculation for the time ran. So time ran is equal to displacement ran over velocity ran. And again, we are given those in the problem. 73.2 meters divided by 3.05 meters per second. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that this is equal to 24 seconds. And now we have time walked and time ran. And if you use this equation right here, we can plug them both into here to find our t-tote. And so t-tote is equal to 60 seconds plus 24 seconds. And if you plug that into your calculator, this will be equal to 84 seconds. So now we have x tote and t tote. And so now we can use this v average equation to find our average velocity. So now v average is equal to 146.4 meters divided by our total time, which is 84 seconds. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that our average velocity for part A is equal to 1.74 meters per second. And so that's it for part A. And now for part B, we're going to be doing similar calculations, except that we are given times and velocities and not displacements. And so now for part B, we are told that the time walked is equal to the time ran, which is equal to one minute, which is equal to 60 seconds. And so then we can use this equation to directly calculate t tote. And so t tote is equal to 60 seconds plus 60 seconds. And that is equal to 120 seconds. And so now we need to calculate x tote. And the way that we find x tote is again using this equation up here. And in order to find the individual x's, we will have to again use this equation, but rearrange it for x this time. And so what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by time. And that'll leave us with x is equal to velocity times time. And now I'm out of space on this page, so I'm going to get another piece of paper. All right, so now xw is equal to vw times tw. And we are given both of those values in the problem. This is equal to 1.22 meters per second times 60 seconds. And that is equal to 73.2 meters and x run is equal to v run times t run, which is equal to 3.05 meters per second times 60 seconds. 
and that one is equal to 183 meters. So now we can use this equation right here to get x tot, which means x tot is equal to 73.2 meters plus 183 meters, and if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that x tot is equal to 256.2 meters. And now that we have t tote and x tote, we can find our average velocity. V average is equal to our x tote, which is 256.2 meters, divided by our t tote, which is equal to 120 seconds. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the average velocity for part B is equal to 2.14 meters per second. And so now that's it for part B. Now for part C, we need to graph the pathway for parts A and B, and then indicate on the graph how you would determine the average velocity. And so I will graph both parts, and we will start with part A. And so over here, we will call this displacement. And that'll be in meters. And down here we will have time. And that'll be in seconds. I'm just going to mark a couple important points here. So we have 73.2 and we have 146.4. This is your total distance and this is your distance walked. And now we have 60 seconds, which is the time walked, and then 84 seconds, which is the total time. And so we can plot those two points. This is the end of our walk, and this is the end of our run, and we can connect those to the origin, which is at zero. So I'll try to draw a straight line like that. This is walk, this is run, and then what we can do is we can draw a line that connects from the origin to the final point, and I'll draw that with a dotted line. And so in order to find our average velocity, which is your total displacement over your total time, all you care about is the start and the end point. And so what you can do is if you find the slope of this line, that'll give you your average velocity. So graphically, V average is equal to the slope, which in this case would be your rise divided by your run. And to show you one calculation of how you would do a slope calculation on here, so your slope is equal to your final displacement minus your initial displacement over your final time minus your initial time. So in this case, your final displacement is 146.4, your initial displacement is zero, so your top here is 146.4, and your bottom is gonna be 84 minus zero. So you're just gonna have 146.4 divided by 84, and if you look right over here, that is exactly what we calculated in part A. So the calculation checks out, and the slope of this line from start to end is indeed your average velocity on a displacement versus time graph. And so now we can graph part B. which will look very similar to the first graph. Again, we have time on the x-axis, and we have displacement on the y. Again, I'll mark the important points. So we have 73.2 meters, which is after walking, and then we have our total, which is 256.2. And then we have 60 seconds, the time it takes to walk, and then we have the total time, which is 120 seconds. We can plot our two points. Again, I'll try to draw a straight line. This is our origin, and then again we can draw this V average line. And I'm not going to do the calculation again, but you would have 256.2 minus 0 over 120 minus zero, which is 256.2 divided by 120, which is exactly the calculation we had here. So again, it checks out, and the average velocity is the slope of this line, where this is your walking segment, and this is your running segment. And just for clarity, this slope is the slope of the dotted line.
So that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.